Hello, I'm Kara Morrison with some of the latest news from Two Works for You. Mays County investigators say a teenage driver hit an Inola school bus as it was letting off a student. It happened Tuesday afternoon on 4223 Road, about a mile east of Inola. Oklahoma Highway Patrol tells us the bus stop sign was out when the 17 year old hit the back of the bus. Thankfully, no one ended up with any major injuries. Tracking rape kits across Oklahoma. Two years ago, a statewide audit found thousands had not been tested. And today, the governor signed Senate Bill 967 into law, giving more clarity to victims and law enforcement. It directs the OSBI to develop and maintain a statewide electronic tracking system for rape and sexual assault kits. Changes in Oklahoma the law is also changing the way farmers do business. The Oklahoma Farm Bureau says at least 25 traditional growing operations have partially or fully converted their spaces to include medical marijuana or industrial hemp. While Oklahoma still has more than 600 traditional growers, the Farm Bureau says this small change could drive up prices on such products as petunias and periwinkle flowers. Now let's go to Mike for a check on our weather. Well, thanks, Karen. The better chances for rain, the higher chances for rain will be southeast of Tulsa over the next couple of days. Stigler uh, to Tahlequah, looking at the potential for the higher rainfall totals. Algae report not good. Unfortunately, trees, grass and weeds all either in the moderate to high category, causing a lot of sneezing and sniffling issues. Uh, the weekend looks great. Lower 80s, a more active pattern next week with the potential for severe weather is on the horizon. We'll be watching very closely. Thank you, Mike. For more news, go to our website or our mobile app. And if you're up early, watch our Two Works Few morning team. They're on two from 430 to 7 a.m.